First and foremost, this is not an anti-patriotic video. America is one of the greatest countries on earth in spite of its many challenges. This is why so many people are coming here in pursuit of a better tomorrow. One of America's greatest symbols of perseverance and freedom is the poem that was written by Francis Scott Key, The Defense of Fort McHenry. It was written during the War of 1812. It was renamed the Star Spangled Banner and it became our nation's national anthem in 1931. In the eyes of many, it is the epitome of what a national anthem should be, inspiring the highest level of pride and patriotism. It pays homage to those who fought in the defense of the nation. It also reflects the values and quality of life of all Americans. Without a doubt, the Star Spangled Banner is one of the most recognizable national anthems that was ever written. The beautiful lyrics express the joy of unexpected victory in the face of what appeared to be certain defeat. Yet in the same wonderful melody, it calls for the terror and gloom of the grave of the slaves who were burning with the same desire to be free as the man who wrote the song. This is why so many African Americans are so hurt and confused. Why wish terror on our ancestors for simply doing what they had to do to escape the horrors and torments of slavery? Essentially, this is what the Star Spangled Banner does in the third verse. The double standard of preaching freedom while condemning African slaves for pursuing freedom does not sit well with many African Americans. No matter how spectacular the song is, no matter how deeply ingrained it is in the American spirit of patriotism, it is hard for many African Americans to pay tribute to a song that denounces their ancestors' quest for freedom. To put everything into perspective, the British Army had a history of offering freedom to any slave who would join them to fight against their enemy, who were the slaves' slave masters at that time. This is what happened during the War of 1812. It also happened during the Revolutionary War, the War of Independence here in America. During the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln took a page out of Britain's book when he issued the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, when he declared all slaves who were in Confederate states to be free if they joined the Union to fight against the Confederacy, who were the slaves' slave masters at the time. This was the strategy of war, and the slaves took advantage of that strategy because this was their only path of freedom. They took advantage of that strategy not only to secure freedom for themselves, but to secure freedom for future generations to come. Many African Americans feel that the Star Spangled Banner should praise the slaves for this type of action, for this type of determination to be free instead of villainizing them. We have to understand that Francis Scott Key did not write that poem for it to become the national anthem. He was simply expressing his patriotism like everyone else during the Battle of Baltimore in 1814. He was a man of his time and his words reflected the mindset of the society in which he lived. Slavery was a legal, lucrative institution, so his mind could not comprehend. It was not conditioned to understand why slaves wanted to fight for their freedom. He simply lashed out at anyone who fought against America. His poem may have been appropriate for the social landscape during the War of 1812, but 117 years later, when Congress selected it, as our national anthem, it did not fully represent the plight of freedom of all Americans. When President Hoover signed it into existence in 1931, what it did was it provided 
a history of inspiration for some Americans while it preserved words of venom toward the ancestors of other Americans. This is why so many African Americans do not pay tribute to our national anthem from a historical perspective. My solution is to amend the Star Spangled Banner. Throughout the years, we have amended the United States Constitution 27 times so that it could equally represent all Americans. If we simply took out the words, no refuge could save the slave from the terror of flight or gloom of the grave, the Star Spangled Banner would truly represent the land of the free and the home of the brave.